Yeah, about business, yes. you can be your own business, like uh, yeah, personal yeah. branding also implies. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Especially right now when we are whereby we live in a <clears throat> in a uh, in a world where it's already a global village. We have most of people getting into the internet, being content creators. So there's a way you have to handle yourself. So mm -hmm. when you get into those boardroom, you seal the deal. So when you communicate, you communicate the right uh, personality and create also the right perspective of how you want to be seen when mm -hmm. seated on the table and yeah. be listened to. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and of course, you, you, we need to understand this. When we talk about branding, we are not talking about big companies okay. because we're talking about branding and someone thinks of 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 uh, safaricom mm. apple i'm on i'm on google <laughs> uh, we're not talking about big businesses oh, yes. because no matter if even that small business that sme oh yes needs branding absolutely yeah because if you just think branding is just for big corporates mm -hmm. then you've got it wrong yeah, yeah. branding also includes somebody atakama una 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 t-shirt online how have you branded yourself to sell that particular product as an sme and that's what we're going to talk, to, to talk about today oh yes absolutely i yeah. agree with you and every other established business started uh, from an sme uh, background yeah. so there's always steps to be taken and the correct steps strategy is the way to go yeah, and that's yeah. when branding is actually very important yeah yeah yes and uh i've got five tips okay okay yeah did you implement these five tips because you know you, you tried a couple of businesses that yeah I've, I've, I've done a few businesses <laughs> and 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 uh i'm uh, now i'll give tips based on something that i recommend oh yeah it may work for some it may not work for others but i believe it will work for most mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it also depends on the time you give yourself and uh, just uh, as a disclaimer it is not cast on stone mm -hmm. you can you, you, you i believe that these are things you can try you know pole pole because biashara unajaribu just get yourself out there and do it mm -hmm. i'm not saying that if you do this will work immediately that it will give you a hundred percent results overnight no mm -hmm. but it can work yes it can, I believe work. It can work absolutely yeah. i'm mm -hmm. looking forward to the tips that you're about to give and also i think the, the important thing is uh just cut your coat according to your clothes like uh, customize uh whatever tips that we're going to give yes or different uh, uh angles when it comes to branding and what mm -hmm. is important strategies as well mm -hmm. customize it to what you feel suits your business because not yes. everything uh, will actually work for your business mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. take a couple and run with it mm -hmm. yeah because remember businesses are different we have large corporates we have the SMEs you know you, you've been talking about them you mm -hmm. know for a long time and mm -hmm. and businesses are different mm -hmm. anyway let's get it to us number one uh -huh. <laughs> identify your brand oh yes get an identity yes what are you doing mm -hmm. how, uh, how how should people see you how should people identify your business what makes you stand out you know identify your identity and and i believe that many people get this wrong because you want people to say that you are a jack of all trades mm -hmm but you are a master of none mm -hmm. be a master of something mm -hmm. when somebody looks at you they should think of something oh yeah mm. if you look at ramaguko what's the first thing that comes into your mind that's your identity mm -hmm. identify your brand identity and that is the first step of getting your business going speaking and adding to that uh, just cherry on top onto that is yeah. that when you identify uh, the, the the identity of your business that it is mm. you continue representing that like yeah. you become consistent in it because not if you wake up the following day and decide oh a couple of months down the line like i want to be recognized for this i want to be recognized for that like you should be stable in one area code yeah yeah. Yes. yeah actually what you need to do is find out what you want to do mm -hmm. you know and and if someone can ask you a question describe your company in a sentence mm -hmm. describe your business in a sentence describe what you do in a sentence how, how, how what will you say 
how will you describe it? Mm -hmm. And that is part of identifying your brand, making your brand identity. And that is one way of getting your brand out there. There you go. So before yeah. we go into a couple of other tips, we're mm -hmm. going to take a, a short break. And then we'll be right back and we're getting into it like we are diving all in. Okay, we'll also mm -hmm. be looking at brand positioning as well. So don't turn that down. We'll be right back.